i so now we are going to add a choice box under uh, this text field so let's start by opening our project go to source go to employee.view and open add new employee to the text mode and go to controls choice box but first I'm going to add a label here then choice box then I'm going to resize uh, my grid pin like this more good let's name it for example marital status marital status and that's it let's save and close then I go to my controller class and under personal information I'm going to add I'm going to add variable for my choice box so private choice box marital status box and need to import choice box now I'm going uh, I want to add some items in my choice box so I'm going to use observable list so let's write observable list of type string and name it marital status list equal fx collections dot observable array list and here let's write single and married and divorced press ctrl shift f to format and i need to save import observable list java fx dot collection so what I need to do now is when I initialize or load this fxml document it show uh, the items of my choice box and the value that I set to my choice box so I'm going to create a method here which is uh, private void initialize And what is this method? This method allow you to um, <coughs> tell any components in your FXML that when you load it or activate it or initialize it, the, anything in this method will happen to the components. For example, if I write, uh, let's say, marital status box dot set uh, let's say set value um, anything mm, like this then save but before we try we just need to assign the ID to my, our choice box I go to choice box let's move a little select choice box go to code and select method status box then save now if you run this 
project add nothing so let's open it again something is uh, initial yeah initialize that's correct <clears throat> Also, nothing. Let's press Control S again. So let's try to remove this. So nothing strange. So let's say monitor status box dot set items. And try to run. Also, nothing. Let's type it again as it takes more. Save. Yes, here it is. It works now. But I suppose to see the value. M M M here, so not anyway. That's interesting, really. Uh -huh, I just need to mention it up, up before I add my items so let's change to anything else to see mm -hmm. so you see that the value must be one of the three items so you need to assign a value that's the same as in the, in the list. So that's it for this choice box and see you next video. Uh, goodbye.